Hi everybody, I hope you're doing great. I'm doing a 15 minute session for a client. I'm gonna be sharing distance, psychic wisdom, and energy healing. This is to support their root chakra and empower some lucid dreaming. I'm gonna read the goals here in just a moment. I wanna thank you so much. This is to the client. Thank you so very much for this opportunity. I'm really curious to see what the combo is gonna look like because we're you're getting grounded but then you're also kind of gonna be set free in the dream world, so it's gonna be interesting. Thank you so much for the opportunity. Again, thank you for sharing with us here on YouTube. I'm gonna read your goals now and then we're gonna get started. So pretty short and sweet, you say, hi Abby, I'd like your help. Number one, healing for my root chakra. And then number two, help to lucid dream. Okay, root chakra, lucid dream. Gets right to the point there. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna relax, close my eyes, and then we're gonna see what comes forward. All right, here we go. All right, universe, what is the most empowering way I can support you today? Really help you with your root chakra, really help you with your goals for lucid dreaming. All right, so I'm creating a doorway here. This doorway represents your root chakra. And when I look at it, it's pretty basic. It's just a white door. It's got a white frame around it. Everything else is kind of like a foggy scene. It's not easy to actually touch the door. It's like my hands go through it. There's some strange kind of dinosaur-like birds, like pterodactyls flying around in the smoky, foggy world. Okay, so we are talking about root chakra, but we're also talking about lucid dreaming. And we're talking about combining these two. Help for root chakra, but help to lucid dream. Okay, I'm going to grip this doorknob. I'm going to do it. Okay, there's a lack of solidity. I mean, that's a very obvious thing to say. I could try with all my might. I could even make a bold statement. I could even make it clear that this is a solid experience. I'm a solid being. I'm solid in where I stand and with what I want and with where I want to go. And bam, I'm not solid. So that tells me that there's something about you not able to grip the door knob of your own next step. And so something's not solid about you. Something's not solid about the next step. Something's not solid about how you're grounded in who you are. Something is kind of, it's just like, like air, you know? So we're going to, we're going to shift that. All right. I'm, I'm actually going to have you stand here and explain to me what you're struggling with. I say, you know, there's a door here. This goes into your root chakra. This is where you want to go. I'm a re representation of you right now. The you that's struggling actually to get a grip on your root chakra. Which is all about being grounded in who you are. Grounded in your goals. Grounded in your next steps. There's some solidity here that you're lacking. Okay, you're turning into a child. And you're starting to cry and kick your feet. <sighs> Something is affecting your heart and it just looks like a circulating orange color. This is more like defeat. It's not like um, choosing to cry and in, in order to get attention. It's more like feeling so defeated, all you have left to do is cry. It is temper tantrum level, okay? You could say that, you know, any two-year-old that doesn't get their way just kind of throws themselves on the ground and starts screaming. And so, is it really that they're trying to get attention or they're just completely frustrated with their situation, with themselves and their situation, with what they want that they can't have, and it's just like this pure frustration? What is it that you want that you can't have? 
I take this crying you and it's it's a distortion. It's like a two-year-old and an adult kind of sharing a body somehow. So it's like a fully grown adult head with really small limbs. <laughs> it's a very distorted, okay? So I'm kind of hoisting you and bringing you over to this handle of the door. It's so simple. It's so simple. All you have to do is just touch the knob, turn the handle, let the door open. <laughs> so simple. And I say we can do it together. There's an angel sort of coming through this foggy, smoky, and a lightning bolt. It's like the lightning bolt. I see, keep seeing the echo of this lightning bolt. There's this angel that's coming. And I, I get this thought in my head, what comes first, the chicken or the egg? Who? What comes first, the lightning bolt or the angel? Oh, the angel came first. No, the lightning bolt. No, the angel. No, the lightning bolt. No, the lightning bolt, then the angel. <laughs> it's just like in my head, like this. Hmm. Okay, it's very classic. White angel, white angel wings. Kind of old man looking, big beard. And I, I kind of make a joke like, man, how do you keep your whites so white? Like, <laughs> how do you do it? You don't ever spill something on that. It's so clean. You're so clean. <laughs> and so the angel's down at our level here. And I hand you, which is a conglomeration of, of like small child and adult. And I just put you in this angel's arms. And the angel actually puts you in his heart. And in your mind, you feel that, that basically the angel's heart in your mind turns into a blender. And so the angel's putting you in his heart, which is a good thing. But to you, it's actually something to fear, it's something that's going to hurt you. And so there's a lack of trust here that this is safe, that this is warm and loving, that it's not painful. When nothing happens, you're confused. You're just in the angel's heart, never turned into a blender, and you're just kind of, you don't know what you are, you don't know what to do, and you're just confused. An angel smiles at me and then he touches the handle and then opens the door and then walks through it with you in his heart. And I stand here and I, I'm kind of like, well, that's cool. <laughs> that was nice. <laughs> okay. So I'm following behind. Hmm. I don't know what to make of it. The angel instantly tells me just, it doesn't have to be clear, just describe what you see. And basically it looks like orangey yellow, maybe slabs, kind of ab abstract uh, painting, but it's only working with orangey yellow and black, maybe brownish black. And this seems like um, really thick lines around um, kind of abstract shapes of orangey yellow with maybe some dots in it at times. And it's just everywhere. It's like I'm walking into a world of this. <laughs> so what does it mean? I don't know. Okay, so we're continuing to move forward and it's starting to look like um, walking through a maze. And these are the walls of the maze. And I can't really tell the spaces in between are like the blackish brown lines. And this is really impacting my heart. And I hear a voice say, I want to be set free. I want to go further. <sighs> in some regard, you, you feel a bit trapped or confined. Perhaps that's the lucid dreaming side of all of this. <sighs> this is really a, like capturing my breath. I feel like it impacts my lungs in a positive way. There's a, a warmth to it. It's um, surreal enough that it's a bit um, 
It impacts the breathing, you know? <sighs> Is this about being in on the path and actually seeing it open up instead of being smushed together? So where do you go if it's all smushed together? There's nowhere else to go. There's just literally nowhere else to go. And perhaps that's why you weren't able to even touch the handle to open the door. And you're just this conglomeration of a child and adult that really has nowhere further to go. Maybe you've reached a, an almighty point here in the path where you just don't know what else to do. You just literally don't know what else to do. And so it's not like you're, you're crying for attention. You're just kind of defeated and frustrated. And you can't seem to make it different. You can't make it change. Is the lucid dreaming some kind of next step opportunity for you? Well, you, where you're going to feel like there's something more to discover about life through lucid dreaming, let's say. It's an expansion of the pathway. You know what I mean? So let's, let's watch. This is all taking place interdimensionally. This is all real, okay? So this is all showing your energy field, showing you that you're moving forward. You're actually moving forward. Where before this session, you're literally just stuck at the door. You can't even grip it. But in some way, you've concluded it's pointless because you're not going to be able to move forward anyway. It doesn't matter if you can grip the handle or not. It's just a sign that you're just kind of stuck here. Okay, so the angel's moving you through the maze that I'm describing, which is opening things up. The angel tells me that this has already happened. It's just you have to allow yourself to open up to that path. Like, it, it, it's almost like... This isn't the first time I've seen it. Because what's time, really? But when we realize we're in that new experience, so we're getting caught up with that version of ourselves. So this has already happened. You're just now allowing yourself, through some support here, to become aware of it, okay? Which tells me this is the right next step or the right next... <laughs> this is the path opening up. This is real for you. I hear someone sort of like, um, like, what, what is the meaning of it or what is it going to help you with? Like, where is it really going to take you? It's not doubt. It's just a question, you know, it's worth, it's worth it. You know, it's, it's worth hearing that question and then saying, okay, well, what is it going to do for me? You know, I'll say I can lose a dream now. It, how's it going to change things? And it's okay to say it is going to change everything for me. It's okay to say that too. It's okay to be bold enough to say, yeah, that's going to change everything for me. And I don't have to explain what I mean by that. I just feel it's true inside my heart. I just know it's true. So let's just say that. Because it feels like you're getting grounded in being bold enough to know what you want. And the word passion is coming to mind here. Like activating passion, activating a sense of breathing room, activating um, new experiences of moving forward into something that's coming to life for you, helping you to feel alive. That's good enough, you know. That's something. All right, so you and the angel are so far ahead. I feel like I've just been... I've just been walking around talking to myself like, hey, hey, wait, where'd you go? <laughs> okay, I better catch up here. And so I see you're like way off in the distance. There's a reason why I'm still in the maze. There's a reason why it's not that I, I guess I was just talking to myself or something. It, there's, this means something. There's some kind of challenge here. There's something blocking you. So, like I said, this is real and you've already worked your way through the maze or you've already worked your way through this next step, this path, and there's an angel guiding you. That's really cool stuff. Now, I'm still on the path, which tells me that along the path, which you've already gotten through, somewhere in the midst of time, there's a something there. And what it looks like is a Hershey's kiss, but make it gross and ugly and big and kind of 
evil. <laughs> so it's just like a goober <laughs> on the path of, you know, like blackish browns and yellowy oranges. <laughs> okay, let's see what this is about. It's fear. It's turn your fears into Hershey's kisses. It like take the gross and turn it into something nice, you know, something simple. So I'm turning this, it just like has an angry face. It's trying to be like, if you were driving your car and then there was a huge tree that fell into the road, you can't just drive over it, right? And so it represents some something blocking the way you can't just get through it. But yes, you can. We're talking about the energy world. So it's, it's different than the human world. And so how you get through it is not be afraid of it. How you get through it is just face it, turn into Hershey's Kiss, or laugh with it, hug it, you know, taste it. it. Might be some delicious chocolate here, you know? So we have to change the meaning of it. And then once the meaning of it's changed, you're just free, okay? You, you, it's your experience. It's your reality. Okay, so I'm helping a part of you here look at this with me. And with my hand, I touch it and you touch it with me. And you say, no, no, I've got it all wrong. You say, this is somebody that you know that's changed. Okay. And you start to cry. You say, you can't fix it, really can't. You can't help this person. That this is really close to home. This is close to the human world. This is very similar to a, a giant sort of redwood falling along the path. You can't, you, I mean, you can't take your car over it. Unless your car has some sort of special, I don't know, upgrades. But this isn't one something you can just drive over, move past. And so I start to merge with the thing this goober thing. It kind, of, it kind of offends you when I call it a goober. Yeah, but but you're, you and me are part of the same body right now, so I just merge with it, and so we can work through it together. And I hear the angel remind you that you, you do make it through this, by the way. You do see this all the way through. So if there's a s sort of a blockade in your life, then it makes you feel defeated, like you can't move forward or, the, or life or the path isn't really opening up for you. It is. It already has, and you've already moved through it. And to let yourself feel nurtured at peace about that, and that there's an angel helping you with this, big time helping you with this, even to the point that you're in the angel's heart and the angel's helping you. All, the, all I experience, it's it's kind of like um, this goober. I don't know what else to call it. This person, I guess. Um, uh, there's so much sound in here. There's a lot of emotional despair. It's like... Um, there's just a lot of sadness here. You, you don't really know if it's your fault or not. If you created the harm or it wasn't you, it, like, in some way you, you wish you could have an answer to this. Some sort of connection that isn't balanced between you and another person. And I kind of tell you to... Don't let this stop you, you know? It's like when the water reaches the edge and it says, what, you know, and it starts to fall off the edge, let's say it becomes a waterfall, and it hits the ground and keeps going. Should it have done that? Maybe it should doubt itself. Maybe it should have stayed back and never fell off the edge. Maybe it should never have been a waterfall. If the water doubts itself, like, the, what would that mean? So if you have to understand yourself in these exchanges and you've, you've worked so hard on it and all it does is put you into a place of despair, there might not be an answer, you know? And the only thing you can do is keep flowing forward. 
and be the beautiful waterfall that you are. Just keep trying to be the best person you can be from your heart, you know. That's all we can ever do. And so I turn you into water, turn me into water. We flow through this energy, flow through this person. And this person's like a mud dam. And this mud dam does not want you to flow through it. So this person doesn't want you to actually find your heart or find your flow doesn't want you to feel like you can move forward, wants to hold you back. So on some level, this person is encouraging you to doubt yourself or to hurt yourself with your thoughts and feelings about what you did wrong, which I don't think it does. It's not going to, it's not like the question is, did you do something wrong? I, it's, it's kind of like, well, maybe, maybe you did. Maybe you didn't. Maybe it doesn't matter. Maybe it, it's the only thing that matters. But if it's the only thing that matters, you might as well just get back to the other side of the door. And we might as well just quit now. Might as well just stop living. You see what I mean? The water might as well just not flow over the edge ever again. Never. Ever again. Never be a waterfall. Never. You see? You got to keep flowing. You know, it's, it's like one of those things, people damage us, right? If you could be grateful for someone who's damaged you, now let's say you damage someone else and you help that person because you damage them. You forgive yourself. What if they don't forgive you? It's like sometimes we have to learn what we can learn and keep moving forward. Are we the bad guy? Are we the good guy? I don't know. Why am I still stuck with this? You got to keep moving forward. That's not a selfish thing. You've got to keep living. You know what I mean? This is helping you start to get grounded again, right into your feet. Feet on the ground. It's interesting because we're talking about water right now. But you can move forward through this maze, which isn't really that complicated. And you're not alone in the process. And you can let go of feeling defeated because what are you feeling defeated about? Is it this goober? <laughs> Maybe this person really is like a goober of a person that doesn't ever want you to be a waterfall. And so you just got to keep flowing, which is keep living, okay? This lucid dream, it's, it's like... There's something about the heart, there's something about the soul, there's something about the expansion of some kind of breath, some next level breath for you. It's not about escaping. It's about maybe expanding the mind or expanding the senses, expanding the spiritual experience. And they do seem to be interconnected because here we are working on helping you really take ownership of you, seeing there's help for you. You really are moving through this complicated time, which isn't all that complicated. And you've got all the help you need. And whatever stands in your way is just a Hershey's kiss. And if it's a goober, just be the water that flows through it. And don't be afraid to fall off the cliffside and discover your waterfall. You know, got to keep moving forward. All of this is connected. So I've got to stop there. Really enjoyed supporting you today. I know this is going to help energetically big time. And I wish you well. Thank you everybody for watching. If any of you are interested in having me take a look at something for you, I'd be honored to do a journey. You can book a session at my website at abbynormalswisdomquest.com. All right, have a great day, everybody.